All right, Mike Needham is the CEO of Heritage Action for America, and he joins me now. Mike, welcome to Meet the Press Daily. Thanks for having me, Chuck. All right, answer me that first question. How well, are you able to critique Carly Fiorina, who hasn't put anything on paper? Sure. I mean, I think Carly said a number of things on taxes that give us a lot of confidence. She said she'd lower every rate. She said she'd close every loophole. Um, she's also said, importantly, that she's not going to get caught up on this kind of idea of revenue neutrality and that some bureaucrats at the CBO have to tell us that it's revenue neutral. Returning money to the American people is a good thing, and we should embrace it. All that said, I, I disagree with what she said uh, on your show on Sunday. I think that politicians should put out plans. Uh, voters have more leverage before the election rather than after, and we'd love all these people to say what they're going to do, and then we'd love to hold them accountable. Right, it's not just say it. You need you need something to actually look at too to see how exactly. how you get down to three pages. No, that's exactly right. And, and, you know, she should put out those details. But again, on the question of growth, she's broadly saying the right things. My concerns with Carly are more along the lines of, you know, here's somebody who in 2009 running for Senate while Obamacare is going uh, through, was hesitant right. to criticize it, said, you know, the uh, devil's in the details. And this, the devil wasn't in the details with Obamacare. It's in the fundamental philosophical construct. All right, let's go to Carson and Trump. Uh, you, you have some praise for their tax plans, but you have some questions. Tell me about it. Yeah, I think Donald Trump came out with a good tax plan. Uh, it's, it's one of the areas that I think um, his ideas have been stronger. His past record isn't quite as strong. But, you know, I think with Trump, the reason that a lot of people are attracted to him is, is, is admirable. It's that he recognizes that Washington, D.C. Uh, is a cesspool. It's broken. It needs major change. Um, I think on a number of issues uh, out there, you know, you look at something right now like eminent domain and what he's saying, that's a fundamental philosophical question for conservatives. Do you understand uh, that private property shouldn't be taken away from people so somebody can build a casino? Uh, you you know, similarly on Ben Carson, there's somebody who I think needs to put out a lot more detail than he has. He's had pretty much every position you can uh, have on the question of amnesty. He currently says he's open to a guest worker program, but has uh, mm -hmm. pretty much refused All to right. give details on that. People want to know what the details of his guest worker plan are. So if I said to you after reading your report, Mike, that it seems to me there's one candidate that stands above the rest as far as heritage action is concerned, and that's Ted Cruz, would you say I was wrong? Well, I don't even, I guess you'd, you'd read what's in your heart into that. But no, look, I mean, you know, when we when we put um, when we look at Ted, he's somebody who on pretty much all the issues has fought the conservative fight. I think his biggest detractors will say, hey, look, we agree with Ted on everything. We just disagree with his tactics. Um, and so I think when you look at, at Ted's plans, they're, they're good plans. Marco Rubio's plans are fantastic. I think Bobby Jindal has, you know, really taken the fight uh, for conservative values. And so I think there's a lot of good candidates. And our real takeaway from it was the strength of the overall field, and this is a, a GOP field that's fighting. They have good policies. They provide opportunity for all Americans and, and get at the favoritism of Washington, D.C. You, uh, between Cruz and Rubio, uh, is immigration seemed to be your differentiator between those two. Is that fair to say? Uh, well, I think that's one point of differentiation. Look, Marco Rubio is somebody who has spent more time thinking about how to provide opportunity, how to come up with innovative solutions, I think, than almost anybody. And, you know, one of the untold stories is all of the policy innovation going on in the United States Senate right now is going from so-called Tea Party senators, Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz, Mike Lee, Ben Sass. You kind of go through it. If you were opposed by the all Republican right. establishment in the last four years, you're doing innovative policy thinking right now in the Senate. Mike Needham with Heritage Action, laying it out there. Free debate night. Mike, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me.